Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jim with Aorg Alliance, and uh, I'm talking to you today through my recently repaired, received repaired Insta 361R. This has been a nine month nightmare. I received this 1R back in February or March 3rd of this year, eight months ago, and uh, the core didn't work properly. I didn't know that at the time. Um, and I couldn't get a hold of their their customer service. It took me seven months to get a hold of it. So for seven months, I was relying on forum, forums and, and YouTube videos to figure out why this camera wasn't working out for me. I finally got a hold of them. Last month, they told me to send it in to Irvine, California to have their service guys look at it. They said it core drops frames, but it looks like it does that because it appeared to be dropped. If it got dropped, it got dropped by them. I rarely use this camera because it never worked properly. Their service people said, hey, uh, in their shipping instructions said, hey, just send us the camera back. We're going to go ahead and replace your camera because I qualify for some customer loyalty program. Well, when their service got done looking at it, they didn't offer me that. They offered me a new core at $200, core that they should have just replaced in the first place. And I got an email stating they're going to replace the camera. So I got a hold of their service people again. But the problem is, is I'm dealing with two different people here. I'm dealing with people in Irving, California, and then customer service in China. And neither one of them knew what the other was doing. So the people in China said, hey, listen, you, uh, you, we can, uh, we can't send you a new camera, but we'll either give you, we'll sell you a new twin edition for 50% off, or we'll give you the new core, a new core for your existing camera, for 15% off, you tell us. So I told them I want the new camera at 50% off. Last Thursday, I get an email from the service department. What they did was they knocked the price of the new core off by 50%. And I was like, all right, I'm done. I'll just pay the $106, get the new core, and now I've got the camera back, and here I am. I'm gonna put this thing through its paces to make sure it's operating properly. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do here now is, uh, we're gonna end the intro here, just trying some different things with the 360 camera. Um, and I'm gonna get some different shots and try some different things in post and try to put it together as a video and bring it to you guys. And at the end, give you my thoughts on whether or not this camera was worth the amount of money I put into it. Alright guys, um, I just took a walk down to my local park, grabbed some different shots, going to try some stuff, post edit, see how this works on the phone app, see if the, by switching out the, uh, by Insta361R switching out the, uh, the uh, core and charging me 106 instead of just replacing it, well they offered to replace the camera and they didn't do that, so. I got emails to back up all my statements, but um, I took a series of shots with the 360 camera with the new core, see how it handles in post, and edit, and put it together, and then I'll come back with my thoughts at the end to see if all this trouble I've been through in the last nine months will finally pay itself off. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. The final, my final thoughts on this uh, camera that Insta... 360 sent me a new core at $106 of my cost. Um, let me talk real quick. The previous shots in this video were just stuff I was trying out to see how the camera would function and see if the experience on post using the phone is any better, which it is. Um, the new core is making this camera operate as intended, I guess, and I don't have a problem editing the clips with the phone app crashing. So that's a big positive. I'm gonna continue to use this camera until uh, 
you know, I eventually wear it out, hopefully years down the road, because I've got over $800 invested in this one unit with all the problems I've had with it. Um, as far as your customer service goes, their customer service sucks. They first promised me a new camera to replace this one because I qualified for some customer loyalty program. They don't. They didn't come through on that. When I questioned them about that, their customer service, uh, they said, "No, we can sell you a new camera at fifty percent off of retail, or we can sell you a new camera core for fifteen percent off of retail." And I chose the new camera. Waited five days for their response, and what I got was fifty percent off a new core. So they lied. They'll lie to you. And then when it's all said and done, they've got you so frustrated, you take the last stupid deal they give you just to be done with it. So for those of you, um, for those of you that are sitting on the fence on this camera, if you get a good camera out of the box, you shouldn't have to deal with Insta 360s or Insta 360s uh, customer service. But if you get a bad camera, good luck. They suck. Um, like I said, I'm too far into this camera now. It seems to be operating properly. So I'm going to now really incorporate it into what I do. Hopefully this is the end of my problems. But when this camera wears out and I need a new one, I'm not buying another Insta. I will go with a GoPro or I'll go with Sony. I will not do another one of these. And I'm not telling you not to buy one. I'm just forewarning you if you have problems with it, don't count on their customer service because I've got email after email to back up everything I've said. Every promise they made me, they lied. Point blank. And instead, if you come across this and you feel like I'm unjustly throwing you under the bus, you got all the same emails. You got all the same records, and if you don't, that's your problem. Anyways, uh, that's enough of the rant. Camera seems to be operating well after nine months, and heartache after heartache and lie after lie, but the camera seems to be operating. Um, I am going to buy two more Insta products just for this camera. One's going to be the tripod for the selfie stick. And I'm going to buy an additional battery. And that will conclude any monetary transaction I'll ever do with this company again. So, uh, I, don't know, I, I hope this helps you guys out um, in making a decision. Like I said, if the camera's operating properly, you shouldn't ever have to deal with their customer service. But if you do, you'll end up hating the company. Have a good one.